Hey everybody, so today I'm here to do the long-awaited Medela Pump and Style Advance versus Spectra S2 Breast Pump Comparison. This has been highly, highly requested. I'm not going to try to drag out this this video to be super long or anything. It's 12 o'clock at night. I'm trying to pump and go to bed. But I do want to say I do have a previous video that I talked about. I also do have individual reviews of both of these breast pumps. I will link all three videos down below. The first video that I was talking about just goes over what I was looking for in a pump, the areas that I was critiquing, and then obviously the two reviews are on each breast pump. What I'm going to do for this comparison is I'm just going to run down the areas that I was looking at with each review and tell you which one beat which. And at the end, I'm going to give you my recommendations. So if you're unfamiliar with either of the pumps, this is what they look like. This is the Spectra S2 breast pump and this is the Medela Pump and Style Advanced. Now as for the price, the Spectra S2 is about $115 on Amazon and the Medela Pump and Style Advanced is about $146 on Amazon. Now I will say both of these pumps can be offered through your insurance. As always, if you have not checked into that, please do before you buy a breast pump. See if your insurance company will cover one. But anyways, I will say that Spectra is becoming more largely available on insurance plans. However, the Medela Pump and Style Advance is almost covered by any insurance company. I have filmed something like five to six videos tonight, so I'm slowly losing my voice. Bear with me. But... When it comes down to price, if you were going to buy it, obviously the Spectra S2 is a little bit more affordable. So I'm not going to go into great detail about each of these pumps and all that kind of stuff. If you're interested in those kind of things, you can go ahead and watch the individual reviews. But as for function and ease of use, when it comes to the Spectra S2, it does have a few different settings. It does have a letdown phase. It has cycles and vacuum settings that you can customize. They're preset settings, but it does have quite a few options that you can choose from. As for the Mandela Pump and Style, it is pretty straightforward. It has one little dial to choose the suction level and frequency, and it has one button for the letdown phase. So when it comes to ease of use, I would say Medela Pump and Style is just a little bit easier to use. As for the re recommendations and reviews, when it comes to the Spectra S2, whether it's on Amazon, a Babies Are Us, Target, some kind of website, or word of mouth, Spectra gets great reviews across the board. Whereas the Medela Pump and Style, it does get relatively excellent reviews online. However, word of mouth, is about 50 50. For portability and power options the Spectra S2 does come with a wall adapter when you purchase it however I have heard of people buying different off-brand car adapters and battery packs to be able to use this. When it comes to the Medela Pump and Style Advance it also does come with a wall adapter when you receive it however Medela does make their own car adapter and their own battery pack. I personally own their car adapter it works excellently I have no complaints however I've not used their battery pack. I just realized that I did not mention portability with either of these two but when it comes to portability I would say Spectra is a little harder to manage. It is a bigger pump it is an awkward shape if you ask me it's a little bit cumbersome it's also a little difficult to find a pump bag to fit this although I feel like more and more pump bags that are specifically pump bags are making it so that you can fit this in it whereas the Medela pump and style does fold up and it's nice compact easy to tote around so when it comes to portability I feel like Medela pump and style might win this one when it comes to accessibility to spare parts or replacement parts Spectra S2 little difficult to find they're Parts on their actual website are a little bit pricey. You can find an off-brand called Maymom on Amazon. They're a lot cheaper. However, be aware that using any kind of third-party parts on a pump like this may void your warranty. So kind of weigh if that's an option for you. When it comes to Medela Pump and Style, you can find these parts anywhere. Walmart, Target, Babies Are Us, online. Just depends where you need them. You can basically find them. When it comes to customer service, I will say both companies are quick to respond and they are very efficient in what they do. I have absolutely no complaints from either customer service. When it comes to durability, I can really only attest to Medela Pump and Style in the long run. However, with using both of these pumps during my journey thus far, they've both held up really well. My toddler has knocked both of these off the couch countless times and they're both working beautifully. This one I now keep in my bedroom just because like I said it is a little awkward shaped. It is a little harder to just kind of balance on things. So this is the one that I take to bed with. <laughs> 
take to bed. No, this is the one that sits in my bedroom and I sit on my bed when I'm pumping and it works great. Now the Medela Pump and Style Advance, it also works great. I have absolutely no complaints about it. I have sent a couple back, but the customer service was quick to send me replacements and I've had this one for about six to nine months now. Can't really tell you how long, can't remember. It's in that time frame and it's been working just fine. Now the last thing is noise level. The Spectra S2 wins this by far. The Modelo Pump and Style Advance is definitely a loud pump. It's also very mechanical sounding, whereas the Spectra is a little bit quieter and almost hums. So I would say that Spectra S2 wins this. Now they both offer the two-phase expression that mimics a baby's natural suck pattern, so they both have that. They both offer cycle rates that will efficiently draw up milk. A baby's natural sucking cycle is about 45 to 55 times a minute, and they both either meet that or exceed it. And while the Spectra S2 does have backflow protectors and is technically a closed system pump, they are both supposed to be single user pumps. Now when it comes down to the nitty gritty and what I personally feel and which one wins, I would say it depends. <laughs> I know people are going to hate me for saying this, but hear me out. Now, like I said, I've used the Medela Pump and Style Advance for a longer amount of time. It's my tried and true. If I'm traveling, this is what it's going with me. I know I can count on it. It gets my stubborn clogs out. However, I would not recommend this if you have sensitive nipples, sensitive skin, whatever it may be. If you're a first time mom, you don't really know, you're not really sure, whatever it may be, you do have sensitive nipples, go with the Spectra S2. It is a great pump, don't get me wrong. However, when it comes to my stubborn clogs, it's not really good at getting them out. I do have to hand experience if I'm going to try and use this. I feel like you can't go wrong with either pump. It just kind of depends what you're looking for. So if you're not overly sensitive, you're just looking for a pump that you can count on, I would go ahead with the Medela Pump and Style Advance. However, if you do have sensitive skin or you're really not sure and you just want something that you've heard great things about, definitely go with the Spectra S2. I'll have links to everything that I've mentioned down below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.